In this video, I want to show you how to solve question 11 chapter 5. Determine the reactions at the supports. At point A, we have a roller joint, and at point B we have a revolute joint. In a roller joint, the reaction force is always perpendicular to the surface of contact. So, here, the reaction force is perpendicular and in this direction. In a revolute joint, we will have two reaction forces, Bx and By, and there is no moment. But here, when we have a distributed force, we substitute it with a single force. The equivalent single force is the area below the given distributed force. Here, this area is equal to the blue area and is equal to half the base times height, which is half times 6 times 400, equaling 1200 newtons. Besides knowing the magnitude of the force, we also need to know the location of the application of this force. It should be located here, here, or here. The resultant force is applied to the centroid of the area under the distributed loading. Which here, due to symmetry, is in the middle. Writing the momentum equation about point B, we have sigma m at B equal to zero. We have 1200 times 3 and we have to project the force at A into its horizontal and vertical components. The horizontal component will be A, times cosine of angle theta, and the vertical component will be A, times sine of theta. When this angle is theta, this angle would be pi over 2 minus theta. Because these two are perpendicular and because this line, this black line is perpendicular to this surface, this angle also will be equal to the angle theta. From the figure, we know that this length is 4 and this length is 3, so cosine theta is 3 over 5 and sine theta is 4 over 5. Using these values, we can find the moment of two forces. The force A, times cosine theta doesn't make any moment around point B, but the other force, A, times sine theta, makes a clockwise moment around point B, which is negative. The value of sine theta is 0 0.8, so it would be A, times 0 0.8 times the distance, which is 3 plus 3, equaling 0. From this equation, we can find the value of force A, which is 750 newtons. From sigma fx, positive direction to the right, equal to zero, we have A, times cosine theta, which is 750 times 0 0.6, plus the other force Bx equal to zero. From this equation, we can find Bx, which is negative 450n, and the direction is opposite to the initially assumed direction and it would be to the left. And from sigma Fy, positive direction upward, equal to zero, we have A, times sine theta, which is 750 times 0 0.8, plus by, minus 1200 equal to 0. From this equation, we can find by, which is 600n and upward. Thank you for your attention. Please share this content with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and don't hesitate to ask your questions in the comments.